Chin, welcome to Shrewsbury Town and congratulations on your new role as Foundation Director. What made you want this position? Uh, lots of reasons really. Um, I think the facilities that here, the, the history of the club and the history of the town. I'm a big football fan myself, actually Shrewsbury was one of the first games that I came to probably 20 or 30 years ago. And we used to manage a kids team as well and surprisingly they played in the Shrewsbury Town kit as well so it seemed to be setting the stars really that would end up in here in some capacity. What's your career been to date? Career, my background is financial services, I worked in investment banking for 20-25 years, um, heavily involved in football at grassroots level, playing, supporting teams, going around the country following England, um, got involved in volunteering and really interested in the work that foundations do up and down the country. So I spent five years previously working at a foundation um, and I really enjoy the opportunity to make an impact uh, within the community as well, hence the reason why um, I'm here today. You've said you were at another club for five years and that was West Bromwich Albion. What did you do there? How did you find it? Yeah, it was really exciting times. Uh, spent five years there um, overseeing all the operations, the finance, everything, the central functions, but also getting involved on the programme delivery as well. Uh, really made a massive impact, connected the local communities and at the recent EFL Awards the Albion Foundation was awarded Community Club of the Year within the Championship. Yeah. So would you say that's kind of maybe a long term aim when you get here to get Shrewsbury to, to those sorts of achievements to be able to do that, have that kind of impact? Absolutely, uh, you know we'd like to get Shrewsbury Town Foundation to be recognised as a key stakeholder within Shrewsbury and within the borough which is engaged with the not only the fans but the residents businesses you know we're effectively like the fourth emergency services you know that people can come to us and there'll be a provision that we can support them with. What would you say your short-term aims are as well for while you're here? Short-term aims would be connecting the fan base uh, with our residents but also engaging with a lot of the stakeholders a lot of the employers you know other businesses that are in there to see how they can contribute to the success of the foundation so we're delivering as one uh, we're not seen as a separate entity, we're embedded within the community. So it's about connecting with the community and getting Shrewsbury Town Foundation as involved as it can be within Shrewsbury and Shropshire as well? Absolutely, yeah. And this is from, you know, young young children up through the adults. We want to be able to cater for everyone with our provision. The Foundation obviously offers a lot to the community. For those who don't know so much about it, yeah. what does the Foundation have for residents of Shropshire? I think people look at Shrewsbury Town and think of it as a football club, we are a football club but there's other activities that we do but from a football pathway point of view we could get participants in from as young as six or seven years old through to the teenagers years, supporting them through when they're doing the exams with a pathway as well and we also run an education programme for boys and girls, uh, the Post 16 programme which will deliver an education programme to supplement the football development side and then there's also an opportunity to move on to a foundation degree so effectively we can you know take care of the needs of individuals from the age of five or six all the way through to 2021 in addition to all the other activities that we do supporting mental and physical well-being. The uh, foundation college and degree options they're yeah. obviously fairly new only a couple of years old I believe yeah. How are they going so far? Um, it's been a successful programme. Uh, we are looking at increased numbers for the, the following cohort that's coming in. So on the post 16 programme, it's a two year course. Following that, they can enrol onto the, the foundation degree, which is a two year course with an option of an, an added third year. But numbers are growing. So if people, my, I would ask if people want to get involved, please check out the website and in touch. In your opinion, how important would you say it is that a club like Shrewsbury is connected to their community and the work that the foundation does? It's very important. The, the football club, like I said, is the showcase of you know, what happens on a Saturday afternoon, but there's so much else around the football club that the foundation and the football club work closely together to engage people that aren't necessarily involved in football, so you can still come to the stadium, you know, watch a game, but there's other activities to bring you closer together with the football club. Fantastic. Well, welcome to the club, Shin. Congratulations again. Thank you.